fervently hope that MT is not just about competing and winning awards. Most importantly, it has to be about cultivating an innovative mindset within the society, bringing entrepreneurs as well as scientific and technology community, tech communities together to find common ground by collaborating and working towards bringing better technology solutions, innovative products to the world. I hope that this three days event will provide substantial opportunities for participants from multifarious backgrounds to not only display their innovations and inventions, but also to seize the opportunity to interact, discuss and exchange ideas on the latest techniques and technology that will eventually benefit all, inshallah. MTE provides a conducive platform for innovators to promote their invention through various innovative approaches as well as to expand. So this exhibition also allows them to find potential investors or customers to help in marketing and commercializing their invention products in the market. We need to continuously inspire, ignite and innovate our youth to make sure that they will become prosumer. We want to thank our partners, uh, Proton Group and team with over 20 years experience in organizing such an event for making this possible. We came from Poland, Vietnam, country Croatia, Iran, and Taiwan, Bali, Indonesia. So far it's been extremely interesting to see a broad range of technical and scientific endeavours. We made lots of contacts regarding next step with the uh, university community and with real sector community. We are very glad uh, we are here and uh, for this uh, great exhibition. Very high performance and uh, that we show what the technology we have.
A very good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon at this virtual event for the result announcement of the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. We are all experiencing an unprecedented situation with the global COVID-19 pandemic. Despite the fact that we cannot gather at a physical awards presentation ceremony, I'm glad that we have technology that can still bring us together virtually. Unprecedented crises also present opportunities for transformation. Together, we must turn COVID-19 into an unique opportunity for the scientific community and businesses to recalibrate their research and development goals and design innovations that can fast track mitigation, recovery and sustainable development. Do allow me to start now by conveying our deepest gratitude to the following Malaysian ministry and organizations who have given us the strong support and collaboration which have made this event a huge success. Firstly, we would like to thank the Prime Minister's Office of Malaysia for their support and for joining us in celebrating innovation and creativity and recognizing the innovations which are developed to mitigate the impact of the current COVID-19 pandemic. Our sincere thanks to UITM for being our awards chair, headed by Emeritus Professor Dato Engineer Dr. Mohammad Azrai Kasim, Vice Chancellor of University Technology Mara, UITM. Next, I wish to thank Sirin Baha and the Malaysian Technical University Network, M2, for coming on board as our award partners. Our jury members from Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Brunei, and Australia. And last but not least, a big thank you to all our participants of this COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Welcome everyone. Now I would like to invite Emeritus Professor Dato Engineer Dr. Mohammad Asrai Kasim, Vice Chancellor of University Technology Mara, UITN, to deliver his welcome address. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Salam sejahtera and a very good afternoon. Yang berhormat Datuk Seri Muhammad Ridwan bin Muhammad Yusof, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, the Pro Tem Group organizers of MTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards, our awards partners Sirim Berhad and Malaysian Technical University Network, MTON, members of the jury from near and far, and all participants of MTE 2020 Special Edition. It is my pleasure to join you today at the Malaysia Technology Expo MTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards Ceremony to recognize and celebrate the hard work of those among us who constantly push the boundaries of innovation. To start, I would like to congratulate all the winners as well as your team members who have been supporting you throughout your journey. Under normal circumstances, we would be having a physical ceremony and meet face to face to celebrate your achievements. Even though we are not able to do so this year, I'm glad that we are still able to connect virtually to recognize your achievements. I would like to thank Pro Tem Group, the organizer of MTE 2020 Special Edition for inviting UITM to chair the COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. I congratulate Pro Tem for this inspiring and meaningful initiative. UITM is proud to be part of this event, which has garnered almost 100 qualified entries from Malaysia, Hong Kong, Poland, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia, and other countries too. A special thanks goes to Sirim Berhad and Malaysian Technical University Network, MTON, for the chance to collaborate as award partners to ensure that the entries are evaluated under stringent criteria and organized following the highest standards. I would also like to convey our heartfelt appreciation to the Prime Minister's Office for supporting all our efforts at MTE 2020 Special Edition. This year's event 
is certainly an opportunity for us to showcase our talent and creativity in developing solutions to a profound real-world challenge that has greatly impacted lives all around the world. The innovators and organizations we are honoring today have come together with innovations that can minimize the impact of COVID-19 on public health and to limit its disruptions to economies, businesses, livelihoods and supply chains. Admittedly, COVID-19 has accelerated the adoption of technologies at the workplace as well as in our homes. We hope that the innovations garnered from MTE 2020 will not only be deployed for COVID-19 responses, but will galvanize new and much needed solutions to help communities adapt quickly in a post-COVID-19 world. In fact, some of, the, some of the innovative business ideas can help reshape business models or workforce support. Let us all work together towards recognizing and encouraging creativity and innovation. For that, I would like to express my gratitude to the supporting organizations who have come together and contributed to support this online event during these unprecedented times. The efforts of today's winners can indeed generate inspiring and revolutionary ideas that make a meaningful difference in the lives of communities the world over. My sincere appreciation also goes to all our local and international jury members for supporting us by contributing their expertise and efforts in evaluating the entries and especially to Professor Wong Tin Wui from I Promise for his role in the overall evaluation process. Last but not least, a big thank you to all participants. Your commitment and hard work, your burning desire to innovate, and your passion to improve the lives of people have made this event the success that it is. Congratulations once again to all the winners and participants of MTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Thank you. Thank you, Emeritus Professor Datu Engineer, Dr. Mohammad Asrai Kasim. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor to now invite Datu Sri Rizwan Mohammad Yusuf, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Special Functions, to deliver his speech Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Good morning. Salam sejahtera to all of you. Yang dihormati, yang berusaha Mr. Ronald Chu, Managing Director of ProTem Group and Chair of the Organizing Committee of the Malaysia Technology Expo MTE 2020 Special Edition COVID International Innovation. Yang berbahagia, Emeritus Professor Datuk Dr. Muhammad Azrai Kasim, Vice Chancellor University of Technology Mara UITM and Chair of the Award Committee MTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards, Award Partners, UITM, Malaysia Technical University Network, Sirim Berhad, I Promise, and various other partners, distinguished members of the jury panel, supporting foreign, foreign investor association, respected award participant, members of media, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my privilege to welcome all participants to the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition, the COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Thank you for joining us, especially all the international participants. Congratulations to ProTem Exhibition Conference in Amberhat, the organizers of the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition, COVID-19 International Innovation Awards, and award partners who have put this awards program together. As we all know, MT was initially known as Expo SNT when it began in 2001. The inaugural show was organized to commemorate the Silver Jubilee of the then Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Following the debut, the annual event has continued to provide a platform for the acceleration of innovation and technology. Malaysia registered our first case of COVID-19 on 25th January 2020. The emergence and the prevalent spreading of COVID-19 has thrown the world into this array that has every country scrambling to combat this pandemic and to flatten the epidemiological curve. Now, more than 10 months of fighting the pandemic, there are still many lessons that we are learning. By now, we have shared and received stories on how all walks of life are coming together to innovate, be it an idea, concept of technology that can contribute to this fight. 
This award is the stage to showcase startups, researchers and innovators, scientists and entrepreneurs who have innovated solutions and products which contribute to the fight of this pandemic. Be it a solution to prevent and treat COVID-19 and other crisis situations, or an initiative which has contributed towards mitigating the impacts of coronavirus and provided relief to communities. We salute all innovators who have helped us in adapting to the new normal. I'm happy to note that Malaysia Technology Expo MTE continues to be committed in bringing the scientific community, technology community and industry together to network exchange ideas, collaborate, and together we can be instrumental in contributing meaningfully to global response and recovery efforts. Now, I've been informed that this award has successfully attracted almost 100 entries from Malaysia, Hong Kong, Poland, Ukraine, Saudi Arabia, and other countries as well. The jury, led by Chief Jury Professor Wong Tin Wee from UITM, comprised of Asia Pacific's foremost experts in scientific and research fields, upper echelon of education institution, and euros are tasked to select the best based on demanding criteria. The jury hails from leading scientists and researchers from our local universities and business leaders. From the private sectors as well, special thanks to our foreign jurors from Asia Institute of Technology of Thailand, National University of Singapore, University Brunei Darussalam, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, Curtin University, Australia. Over the course of the last few months, countries have all but shut down many imposed and many imposing quarantines or requiring non-essential workers to stay home in an effort to save lives. This has forced organizations and workers in pretty much every industry to innovate collaborate and adapt to one of the most challenging and sudden waves of disruption. The outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic has posed great challenges to the worldwide economy and people's daily lives and will have far-reaching consequences beyond the spread of the disease. COVID-19 has unwittingly driven the innovation's engine forward in every layer and pocket of society. We can already observe abundant creativity and innovation emerging at the national, international, organizational, and individual levels globally. Malaysia, as we all know, has been recognized as one of the most successful countries in the world in handling and controlling the pandemics. Tremendous efforts at both the government and grassroots levels and unity amongst its people towards a common goal have led to this success. Following World Health Organization WHO recommendations, Malaysia enforced a combination of MCO measures and targeted screening approaches to be used. Collaborative approaches between the sectors are used to uncover cases in the community. Stringent measures regarding quarantine and isolation of confirmed and suspected cases are taken. Malaysia's decision to implement the MCO was to curb acceleration of cases and the result of this implementation has surprised many. The government, as you know, has always, has always been transparent. We share information to the public so that they are aware of what's happening around them. If any change in our, for example, in our standard operating procedures to curb and break the chain of COVID-19, we will use mass media, we'll use newspaper, we use channel, we use social media to inform the public how important it is to follow our MCO conditions and so on. Without strong collaboration among the relevant government ministries and enforcement agencies, frontliners such as the agency under my portfolio, which is APM and also NATMA, and public at large working together in cooperation to understand the new norms, curbing the transmission would be impossible. But the fight continues, we remain strong to face hard times ahead. To all our participants, continue to innovate, be curious, be creative, and support our fight to contain COVID-19, as you will never know when your innovation can help to save a life or the world. I believe together we are stronger. I'm equally excited to find out who will be the winners this morning. To the organizers, especially Ronald and Professor Azrai, thank you very much for inviting me to this event this morning. 
I encourage you to continue with your effort to engage stakeholders, researchers, institutions, even the government in our effort to fight pandemic COVID-19. Thank you. Good morning once again to all of you. Have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Thank you, Datuk Sri Rizwan Muhammad Yusuf, for your inspiring speech and for addressing us. Ladies and gentlemen, in recognition of the outstanding and tireless efforts in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, the invaluable support to frontliners, and the leadership in protecting the health and safety of the people of Malaysia, MTE 2020 Special Edition presents the Special Recognition Award to Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Malaysia, Ministry of Home Affairs, Malaysia, Ministry of Higher Education, Malaysia, Ministry of Health, Malaysia, National Disaster and Management Agency, Malaysia. Saya bagi pihak uh, NADMA Malaysia uh, mengucapkan terima kasih dan juga syabas kepada MTE 2020 COVID-19 uh, atas anugerah ini uh, merupakan satu penghargaan kepada NADMA. Terima kasih penganjur. And lastly, the Malaysian Civil Defence Force. Bagi pihak Angkatan Pertahanan Laut Malaysia, saya mengucapkan banyak terima kasih kepada pihak penganjur MTE Thank you to all the Malaysian ministries and agencies for the hard work in fighting COVID-19. All participants, now, the moment you are all waiting for is here. So now, let's hear from Professor Wong Tin Wei from I Promise UITM, Chief Jury, who will deliver his jury remarks and announce the winners of the Gold Awards and the Special Awards. Over to you, Professor Wong. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today for the announcement of results for the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Uh, firstly, uh, on behalf of the organizing committee and all the supporting organization and participants, I would like to thank the Prime Minister's Office for their support in this COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. My heartfelt thanks uh, also goes to Sirin Berhad and the Malaysia Technical University Network, MTUN, for joining us as award partners and collaborated closely in the evaluation of the awards. Further, we wish to thank Emeritus Professor Dato Dr. Muhammad Azrai Kasim Vice Chancellor of University Technology Mara, as the award chair of this COVID 19 International Innovation Awards, was supporting the event with the aim to promote innovations to overcome the COVID 19 pandemics. Next, I would also like to thank all the jury members from far and near for contributing your time and efforts in evaluating the entries. A special appreciation to our foreign jury members from Asia Institute of Technology, Thailand, National University of Singapore, University Brunei Darussalam, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, and Curtin University, Australia. It was an amazing experience for me to be part of the jury. It was great to see how committed and serious they all were about their duty to evaluate the entries. The jury holds high regards on the quality of the submissions. Jury members have enjoyed this experience of evaluating all the entries and we particularly enjoyed about our intensive discussion on all outstanding innovations and ideas. We have been seeking for innovation and ideas that solve problems by means of a novel approach. Last but not least, we would like to say a big thank you to all our participants from Malaysia, Poland, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, and Ukraine. This would not be possible without the hard work from all of you. Now, a number of submissions have been translated into practice to fight against COVID-19. We are happy to see that companies 
as well as universities are actively creating solutions to fight the existing pandemic. We are also happy to see the university have forged strategic collaborations with industries to generate new science, innovation, and commercial entity. The jury has evaluated 95 entries across 14 categories with innovations developed or conceptualized related to building and construction, transport and logistic, communication, ICT, economy and development, marketing and brands, materials and packaging, education, health and fitness, treatment prevention testing, humanitarian support, vulnerable group and community support. Specifically, I wish to congratulate the Poland scientists who developed accessory for personal protection of dental, protection of dental staff against SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and other pathogenic microorganisms. The concept and development are all rounded considering pandemic statistics, fundamental and application sizes, manufacturing interests and hurdles, now, important innovations such as microRNA biosensor diagnostic system for early detection of COVID-19 and UTEM COVID-19 screening booth are both captivating. Now, these innovations could help to hasten the progress of Malaysia and the global efforts to eradicate the pandemic. Cloud native data exchange platform, UV cleaner, mobile disinfection system, uniquely designed inhalation spacer and face mask and many more are innovation that could bring about an immediate improvement to our present living style and environment. They are inflicted by COVID-19. Now, I will announce the winners of the Go Award and all the special awards. But do note that the result of the winner of the Silver, Bronze and Merit Awards will be released via our MTE website. So the goal winners are UWHC uh, Sadiran Berhad on delivering bronchodilator medication right into patients' lung effectively, cheaply and safely with uh, air drop spacer and face masks. Pusat Innovasi dan Pengkomersialan, University Tun Husen on Malaysia on metered dose inhaler disposable spacer, aerocarb. The Medical and Dental Engineering Center for Research Design and Productions, Asclepius Limited, Poland, on accessory for personal protection of dental staff against SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and other pathogenic microorganisms. University Pratahana National Malaysia on COVID-19 smart biosensor and IoT detection system. University Malaysia Pahang on predictive model for pandemic outbreak in response to COVID-19. University Pertahanan National Malaysia on Temtor 20 wearable and low cost IoT based thermometer. Telecom Research and Development Sandrian Berhad on early warning alert and respond e -war. Telecom Research and Development Center and Berhad on cloud native data exchange platform utilizing network APIs with COVID-19 data sets. Cyber Security Center, National Defense University of Malaysia on Malay language chat board for COVID-19 pandemic control in Malaysia. University Malaysia Pahang on Dematil Digraph, a decision-making tool for project practitioner and researcher during COVID-19 pandemic. Institute of Nano Electronic Engineering, University of Malaysia Police on microRNA biosensor diagnostic system for early detection of COVID-19. Faculty of Administrative Science and Policy Study, University of Technology Mara on EasyPin for You. University Malaysia Pahang 
on mobile biohazard disinfect bin with PV charging station in response to COVID-19. University of Malaysia police on novel foldable intubation hood. University of Malaysia police on COVID-19 screening room. University Tanaga National on semi-online secure exam management and invigilation system. Institute of Nanoelectronic Engineering, University of Malaysia Police on handheld medical diagnostic device for COVID-19 detection. University of Malaysia Pahang on Diamond. Faculty Technology Kejuruteraan Electronic, University of Malaysia Police on biometric recognition and thermal camera scanner. University of Malaysia Police on protective intubation device. University of Malaysia Kelantan on comprehensive COVID-19 protective equipment. Institute of Microengineering and Nanoelectronic, IMEM, National University of Malaysia on COVINA, FET-based biosensor for COVID detection. Innovation Lab, the Lamb Foundation on sterilized scan. University of Malaysia Police on three police uh, C19 Technical Mobile Mass Disinfectant System for Emergency COVID-19 Prevention. UTAM, on UTAM COVID-19 Screening Booth. The Best Presentation Award winner is the Medical and Dental Engineering Center for Research Design Productions Asclepios Limited, Poland, on accessory for personal protection of dental staff against SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and other pathogenic microorganisms. The Best Innovation Awards winners are University of Malaysia Pahang on Diamond, University of Malaysia Pahang on Dematerial Graph, a decision-making tool for project practitioners and researchers during COVID-19 pandemic. Telecom Research and Development Sandirian Berhad on Cloud Native Data Exchange Platform, utilizing network APIs with COVID-19 data sets. Smart Manufacturing Research Institute, University Technology Mara, Malaysia, on all-in-one pandemic prevention solution, most plus modular and open system technology with automated shoes, food sanitizer, health tower signal holders for face masks and mask extender and advertising board. University Malaysia Police on protective intubation device. University Malaysia Police on three police uh, C19 tactical mobile mass disinfection system for emergency COVID-19 prevention. UWHC Sandiram Berhad on delivering bronchodilator medication rights into patients' lungs effectively, cheaply, and safely with air drop spacers and face masks. The Special Foreign Awards. IFIA, International Federations of Inventor Association Special Awards, goes to the Medical and Dental Engineering Center for Research, Design and Production, uh, Asclepios, Poland, on accessory for personal protection of dental staff against the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and other pathogenic microorganisms. Inoba, Indonesian Invention and Innovation Promotion Association Special Awards goes to University Tanaga National on Semi-Online Secure Exam Management and Invigilation System. Inoba, Indonesian Invention and Innovation Promotion Association Special Awards goes to University Technology Mara on Autonomous Ground Vehicle Disinfectant System Using UVC Light Exposure. Euro Business Holler Special Awards goes to UTEM on UTEM COVID-19 screening booth. 
Euro Business Holler Special Awards goes to Institute of Nano Electronic Engineering, University Malaysia Police on micro RNA biosensor diagnostic system for early detection of COVID-19. Congratulations to all the winners. Now, we would like to recognize all the innovation with special awards. Unfortunately, this is not possible when the innovation or idea still lacks commercial interests, wide applicability, novel idea and or concrete development. So we hope in the year to come, all participants will continue to improve their innovations to better the life of mankind while uh, upgrading the institutional and organization skills and capacity. So I look forward to see all of you again at our next award, Malaysia Technology Exposition 2021. Thank you. A great congratulations to all the winners of this COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. I know you must all be very eager to celebrate your victories, but do remember to stay safe. You can view our full results on MTE website, www.mte.org.my. I would like to remind all participants that certificates, medals and trophies will be shipped to all the participants. However, as we are currently in the CMCO phase, we may experience a slight delay in the delivery. We are always reachable by email or phone, so do feel free to liaise with our team uh, if you need any uh, assistance, and we thank you for your patience. Ladies and gentlemen, all participants, we have now come to the end of our results announcement. Once again, thank you for your participation. Continue to innovate, and we look forward to your participation at our next event, MTE 2021 in March next year. Stay safe, stay creative, and together we can fight this pandemic. Goodbye.